This 15-year-old Nebraska boy killed himself, leaving behind a devastated family. It all began a year before his death when Reed Adler sent a photo of his private parts to a female classmate. Reed's parents say the girl taunted their son and threatened to post the embarrassing image online. She eventually made good on that promise. The day after the picture was exposed, Reed was found suffocated in his bedroom. His parents are not pressing charges and say they have forgiven the girl. Amazing, a sad story. A month before Reed took his life, he sent his mother a note telling her that at times he didn't want to live any longer. He also admitted watching suicide videos. Family apparently took him to counseling. Yeah, it, Drew, the fact of the matter is this. Much like a gun that's used to harm somebody, much like a knife is used to harm or kill somebody, social media and the internet right now is a very powerful weapon that can be used by youth to actually contribute to the death of another youth. Well, well Brian, That's how Brian I to see that this. point, Brian, to that point, she posted this thing on a site called Omaha Purge. It's a website aimed at exposing people with embarrassing material. Or isn't that website even more liable than the kid? Well, I, I don't think you can hold the website liable, but let's get back to the kid. Here's the problem I have, Drew. This was not an aberration. This was not a one-time deal where Neil Adler sends a picture of his private part, and then she says, hey, I'm going to post this. She continually threatened him, and I'm not sure what she was trying to extract from him, but she wanted something from him. If she didn't get it, she was going to post this on this on this web page that's ridiculous and really should be eliminated. Yes, that, I'm more worried I, about the web page than an adult, a troubled kid's behavior. Why why can't we take action against these web pages? Well, I I, I think I think that's that. Here's the point I want to make about that. Both of these issues should be taken care of through legislation. There's no. got to be new laws that would remove that site. Number one, and then number two. I don't know if you know this, Drew, but but. Nearly all states have cyberbullying and, and cyber stalking laws, but only 14 of those states have criminal repercussions if you do this. So there's really no teeth to the laws that we have right now. Joey, I see your wheels turning. Finish this up. But, well, well, no, to, 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 to Brian's point, which is a very good one, that we do have to look, however, it's not just about legislation. The reason that they don't have teeth and the reason they're not criminalized is because of the ages of these children, which raises a larger point. Are we going to start now criminalizing youth? Society, well, it's difficult enough it to just, advance yourself, to it, move forward. Is it but, just underage it, people using these websites or adults using these websites <laughs> also don't get yeah. uh, legal consequence? Hey, Drew, right. can I, can Brian, I ask something? Brian, finish. Yeah, Drew, th th her actions are could be considered a class four felony in Nebraska for cyber stalking. So you tell me why the prosecutor just ignores this case. There no. should be prosecution in this case to set an example to stop this from happening to another youth. Well, Brian, I don't know about the prosecutor, but I've got Reed's mom. 